Hey everyone, this is Jim Grisanzio from the Oracle Groundbreakers team. I'm here in Tokyo with Amit Paul Singh. We are at the um, uh, Graal VM for Scala workshop. Amit Paul, welcome. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. Nice to be here. It's really good to see you um, because when we first met earlier in the year, in, actually in India, uh, we did an interview at the Oracle Code uh, conference, right? And as I remember, you had a scratchy voice at that time. Right? There was a little bit of a scratchy voice and uh, picked up uh, a lot more hands-on uh, detailed since then. So, yeah. Good, good. I certainly know what it's like to lose your voice. So sometimes I'm doing an interview, I have no voice at all. Um, but we're here in Tokyo. You're based in Singapore, but you're traveling here for this Grawl tour. Um, so we're here at this Scala workshop. So there's about 40 people here behind us. And I see you walking around, you know, helping people out uh, with this workshop. And, you know, Thomas Wertinger, you gave an opening session here describing Grawl. Um, so maybe you can talk about what's going on here with the workshop. Yeah, thanks, Jim. So what we have um, basically is um, we had designed um, a workshop um, across four different types of labs. So most of the participants here, what we've done is we have shared these labs on a GitHub link. And they have uh, their local laptops and desktops and PCs and so forth. So they're going through basically four different types of labs. Uh, the first one is, um, you know, installing and setting up Graal VM on their local machines. So we're just going around trying to make sure that, you know, they've got all the um, configuration set, you know, the class path and home and everything is all uh, working. So once, once we have done that, um, we found most of the participants were able to do that within like 15, 20 minutes. And it's nice that they were able to run that locally on their machines because once they go back, they can actually run workloads on those machines uh, with Graal VM. The second lab uh, that uh, we started on was uh, basically peak performance. So as Thomas has mentioned, that is part of the JIT uh, compiler. So the just-in-time, so we're measuring peak performance. <laughs> we're using um, some sample Scala workloads, and they were able to see some measurements uh, running in with uh, the regular JDK versus uh, the Graal VM 19.3, which is our latest version. And um, you know you could see um, you know almost uh, double the performance, or even three, four times the difference between the different runs in parallel that we saw. Um, after that, uh, the more interesting part, even that came, was the ahead of time, which is the native image compilation bit. So here is where the focus was, um, you know, less on the peak performance bit, uh, but more on the startup time and the memory footprint and things like that. So uh, a lot of the participants, when I walked past them and when they started these um, native images, they were really surprised that it was super fast. I mean, they saw Thomas doing it from the list directory and so forth, but when they ran it themselves, they were like, "Wow, this is awesome." Yeah, this is actually actually a really good point you bring up yeah. because we all go to you know tech tech presentations. We see slides, we see demos, but that's one thing. It's one thing that uh, that's one thing. It's another thing to actually get behind the keyboard and actually work with the software itself. Absolutely, Jim. I think um, for them to relate to everything they were seeing and getting that hands-on, just as you said, was um, li really a fulfilling thing for them. And um, um, and then after that. Uh, as we moved on to the um, the last lab, which is the Polyglot lab, it's kind of a mix of different types of code. Uh, we actually had R, um, you know, typically used by statisticians and um, you know uh, data scientists and so forth. Mixed it up with R code, running it on a Graal VM, and uh, they were pleasantly surprised. Um, a lot of them had might not have done this before, and um, so it brought a nice close to it. We so far at the uh, I believe the one hour and 50 minute mark, we've got uh, three or four folks who have completed it. So really excited uh, to, to see that, uh, that the lab was just within the right scope. Uh, it was very interactive. People were merging uh, comments uh, and uh, commits while I was on GitHub. So we were interactively sort of, uh, if there's any things that we found, feedback, we were interactively putting it back on our GitHub. And uh, so we're already thinking about the next session that we're going to have um, during the, uh, some of the next sessions. So. Um, so, in all, very exciting, very interesting, and uh, you know, I'm really happy to be here uh, turning out the good success of the lab as well. So the lab itself, actually, so if you're putting stuff back on GitHub, this is really sort of engaging the wider community as well, even though this is a relatively small lab here, you're actually engaging everybody outside as well. Absolutely. So, you know, um, this is now available on the GitHub site. Um, and uh, so anybody who is accessing uh, GitHub is able to find this latest Scala workshop we've got on 19.3 for Graal VM. And they can run it um, interactively, um, you know, if they have any 
questions, uh, support, uh, feedback, you know, they can always ping us on our public Slack channel, and uh, we'll be happy to help and engage with them and so forth, yeah. Excellent. Do you guys do these labs often? Um, yeah, you know, we have these sets of hackathons uh, that we do it uh, that's a bit more formalized, but here is uh, more on one community specific, and we intend to do it even more regularly going forward because we feel that's the best way of improving our own uh, demos and at the same time getting a lot of feedback and more collaboration with the wider community. It's excellent, and it actually, and it all goes on GitHub. Yes, um, and in it does. Um, as you remember, the first time we talked, there was this thing called the top 10 things. So that was a really nice starting point. And then since then, we have having these specific ones for specific languages like this has come up to the top three or four things that you can do in Scala. So we intend to maybe even add some more capabilities to this uh, in the next session and maybe add some more debugging capabilities and some visual monitoring so that we make it like top five things in Scala uh, going forward. Yeah. Excellent, really good. I can see Thomas actually in the reflection in the window here working with the group. So I don't want to keep you anymore because people are waiting. Thanks to Mid Paul. I appreciate you coming by, and we'll see you hopefully in Singapore at some event soon. Definitely, Jim. Thank you so much. Uh, nice to be here. Nice to be talking to you. Thanks a lot. We'll see you guys soon. Bye bye now.